so the two screws in the corner have got lots of blue Loctite type stuff in there so you just got to dig that out before you can take it out Here we go there she goes Stuff, lots of stuff. So, where to go next? Just so that we've got reference for when we all put it all back together. Let's see. The whole thing. So all four of the screws that hold this piece here, they've got legs going down to hold them into the inverter casing, they, all four of those are longer screws. Okay, so, so far I have taken the four bolts, these are the longer ones, from the mounts there. Oh, I've taken a screw out there, 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 one there, and one there. Okay, now it seems to be coming away. It's just where this plug is that, uh, I think it's just where the seal is around this plug. Where are you? There you are. Okay, so just try and lift that away again. Oops, pulling that back down. Aha. Aha, aha, aha. Okay, I neglected to take that one out there. So remember, take that out as well. Uh. Okay, so there's a screw there and a screw there. It's got to come out as well. And then I just need to look at uh, these wires here. And um, looks like I just take these two plugs out here. Please remember to hit that like button if you're enjoying the video. If you're not enjoying the video but you find it useful, hit the like button again. And if you want to know what's going to happen in the future, please subscribe. Don't forget to press the notification bell. Well, that's the first bit off. Okay, so just been on to uh, Johannes Hubner on YouTube just to double check what I'm doing. I haven't got a clue half the time. So, uh, this is the bit that we're replacing so we're gonna have to take this off uh disconnect these ribbon cables there's another one around here nice big fat one there uh, so that's gonna be the next bit is take this plate off and then take this board off and then uh, we'll go from there Another bit done. Little heat shield out of the way. Let's pull these ribbons out. Okay. 
So obviously these uh, three that go through the connection port are a bit longer. Once I just whip out this board, I'm then going to hand you over to my good friend Doug, who's going to take you through building up the new board. Well, good evening. Uh, my good friend over at Mini Life Crisis asked me to have a <clears throat> quick look at his i3 adapter board. He's bought for his mini conversion. Not done a bit. Of, not done any soldering for a while, so this could be a bit of a, a bit of adventure. So look, see what we got. Ooh, tiny board. A little Wi-Fi, little Wi-Fi dongle. Some other bits and pieces. A plug. A little board. Nice quality boards. Very nice. Small bits and bobs. <coughs> and the main, the main adapter board. Okay, all looks, looks pretty pretty straightforward. I have seen some diagrams, so I've got a um, got a fair idea how it all sits together. So we'll do a little bit of a um, do a little bit of a dry a little bit of a dry fit, and we'll see how it all sits together. Okay, so dry fit. Yeah, it all fits really, really nicely. So it looks like a nice, um, nice quality board. A little sort of daughter board sitting on top there. The main board and the little, well, I'm pretty sure is a little Wi-Fi dongle, just sat on the side there. And then the main plug on the top. So we'll uh, <coughs> start. Start getting the soldering done. See if we can get this uh, get this bad boy together. Okay, final bit now. So door board's all on. Just getting the big uh, connected plug on. A bit easier these ones because they're a bit uh, a bit better for my old eyes. Yeah, it's all uh, all coming together nicely. Uh, once I've done this, I'll do a final final check through with a magnifying glass just to make sure no dry joints, etc. But yeah, it's uh, it's coming together nicely. So a massive thank you to my friend Doug, who's managed to solder this board together really nicely for me, and to all those at OpenInverter.org who are also helping to make this project viable. So we're moving on with the inverter and uh, I've taken off so this is the BMW board and if you'd like more information on this and whatnot then go and see um, Johannes Hubner has done some videos on that so I'll must remember put a uh, link in the description okay so this is the BMW board and this is the open inverter board okay so it's all still open source project and um, we'll see how it all how it all goes so it's all quite nice and neatly packaged and if we if it will look we can just see that there's gaps there so it's not coming into contact with anything however if we were put this uh, like heat shield board underneath then it would come into contact so that's in the bin that's in the bin or you know I'll keep that and uh, there's the new board so next thing is to try and power it up and uh, see how that all works <laughs> 